The NWAC Nature Living Laboratory is located in the Ozark Highlands, which is part of the Springfield Plateau. This living lab has 22 acres, four of which belong to the Swamp Post Oak, which is a rare breed of tree, making the NWAC Nature Living Laboratory a real treat to work in. The learning objective today will be the point quarter and sampling method, which is used to calculate the tree density. Data will be collected for abiotic and biotic factors. Biotic being living things such as the oak hickory forest and the post oak savanna. And abiotic factors consisted of elevation, air temperature, soil moisture, and light intensity. In order to do this, certain tools will be needed such as 200 feet of measuring tape, 50 feet measuring tape for diameter, two yardsticks, GPS device, soil moisture probe, light and moisture meter, flags, calculator. You will also need these things as well for the lab experiment. Now we will give you a basic overview of how to perform the point quarter sampling method. Unless otherwise stated, the GPS coordinates you will be using have already been predetermined. For post oak savanna, you will be using these coordinates. For the oak hickory forest, you will be using these coordinates. First, lay down 200 feet of measuring tape on your GPS coordinates. Use your random numbers chart and pick a random number. Put down 7 flags along your plot points. At the flag point, put down a yardstick across the measuring tape to create 4 quadrants. Measure the closest tree to the center of the measuring point for each quadrant. Per point you will have to measure 4 trees one for each quadrant. That's a total of 28 trees. Being that we're going to be measuring two types of trees, that brings the total up to 56. If that sounds like it's a lot, that's because it is. The one thing that's important is that the tape measure is flat on the ground. This way you can be guaranteed to get an accurate measurement. Four feet from the ground measure the circumference of the tree. As a safety precaution, do not do this around trees with poison ivy. This is what poison ivy looks like, and yes, it does like to creep up trees, just like this. If poison ivy is on the nearest tree, be sure to ask your instructor on what to do. They'll be more than happy to help you. Also at each of the seven flag points, we will measure elevation, air temperature, soil moisture, and the light intensity. To find the elevation, use your GPS system, whether that be a device or your smartphone. There are downloadable GPS apps. To find the air temperature, you're going to use the thermometer. Do not lay it on the ground. To get an accurate reading, hold it a few feet in the air. Be sure to hold it for a couple of minutes so you get an accurate reading. To measure the soil moisture, we're going to use this device. Put it into the ground like this and wait until the gauge stops moving. It takes time for the device to get a reading, so be patient. To take the light intensity, we're going to be using this little device. Like with the other readings, be patient and wait for the machine to take an accurate reading. The point of all the data is to see the tree density for two different areas within the nature laboratory. By doing this, you can make a calculated estimate of how many trees are in an area. The NWAC Living Laboratory may be small, but it does have a diverse ecology that must be preserved. By using the lab, you ensure that the rare tree is located here remain intact for future students to use. 